Zane Cladfelter with Otters TV here with the JJ Gould. We always like to talk with you late in the year. We did it last year. We'll do it again this year. Uh, the season's almost over, at least the regular season. So as you have a chance to kind of reflect on this 96-game schedule, how have things gone for you personally in your mind? Uh, for me personally, I mean, just you know, as far as being a member of the team, um, obviously we're right where we want to be. I mean, we're you know, first place here on the final stretch. We control our own destiny. So um, for me personally, um, it's been fun to fit right in there at shortstop and you know in a, in a pretty good lineup and um, contribute to like I said a first place team right now and you know hopefully here in the next day or two uh, clinch that playoff spot. Yeah do you have the alcohol on ice yet or are we waiting? I don't know that's up to you guys. You, <laughs> no. guys are, you guys are supposed to take care of that. I always have the alcohol on ice so <laughs> we'll see we'll see. Uh, based on when did you start really tracking the standings to kind of get a sense where the Evansville Otters were and what you needed to do in order to make the postseason again? Um, honestly, um, I mean, I see it on the way into the field every day. Do you it's like right. that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it gives us an idea of where we're at. Um, but uh, I think for the most part, and I think generally kind of around the locker room, I think most guys are uh, kind of just here with the mindset, you know, take care of today, one pitch at a time, one game at a time type type deal. Um, as far as like knowing the scenarios and stuff like that, I think we even talked about it last year. Like yeah. there were a lot of things that needed to happen, but we were just showing up and just playing every day. And um, you know, we've talked about it. Skip's talked about it a lot, and you know, our, our other guys have talked about it a lot. And um, you know, we just talked about sticking to our game, sticking to the process, and, and kind of keeping our head down and working hard. And then when we get to the end of the year, we'll be right where we want to be. So as you kind of prepare, is it is it difficult not to kind of look ahead, knowing that the postseason could be there on Tuesday and trying to finish the business that you have in the regular season? Um, I don't think so. At least that's the way it seems. Yeah. Um, it doesn't seem like you know there's any any difference really around um, the last like week or two. Um, I think on the field there's been a little bit of difference. It's more like a playoff type atmosphere, um, just because there are it's a really tight race. Um, as far as you know, we go as a team. Um, I think it's I think it's been pretty similar. Um, and once the playoffs get here, um, I mean, I think I think we're pretty confident as a team. We got a good group of guys, and um, we're all pretty familiar with each other. We got you know we're gelling pretty good right now. So I, I just think that um, we you know we take that approach of coming in and taking care of business, playing ball the way that we can play ball, and you know, it doesn't really matter exactly what's going on in the future. Um, you know, we're pretty confident in our abilities every day. Obviously, before each season, I'm sure you set goals for yourself. What were some of those goals you had coming into the year? And then do you feel like you've accomplished those? Um, yeah, I just did uh, the same type of thing as you know, I talked to you about last year was just um, you know taking pride in, in my defense and in playing shortstop. And um, early on, uh, I kind of hit some bumps in the road defensively. And then I think I finished out the second half of the season um, pretty solid in the field. So. Um, that's kind of what I've been focusing on as I've progressed in my career um, as a shortstop to, to just try to do my job as a shortstop and that's make the defense better, make our pitchers better, and then um, just try to contribute on the offensive side when, when, I, when I'm needed. So, you, you mentioned the fielding and I, I think one of your positions is the most intriguing being a shortstop because a variety and most of the Frontier League teams have the field turf where you yeah. have to play all of your home games on the dirt and grass. What is the adjustment period for that? And do you feel like you have like, I guess an upper hand knowing that the shortstop on the opposing team here at Bossy Field may not know that bounce like you do? Yeah, I think so. We talk about it sometimes. I think that um, it does do us a bit of a favor sometimes when the other team comes here. Um, Cause it's just, it's not quite as easy playing on regular surface. Um, and I think that most guys do fine with it, but once you play on turf a little bit, you can kind of, you know, you can catch yourself getting into bad habits and stuff like that. So it's fun to go and play on turf every now and then and have some fun and, um, you know, throw the long hop, the turf hop and stuff like that and, you know, get a true hop every time. But I think um, personally I and then uh, some of the other guys on the team have mentioned that we like playing on surface better. It's just kind of a more like a baseball feel playing on regular surface every day. So we feel lucky to play on it. Practice field turf is like a football yeah, thing. Yeah, right? it's, it is kind of weird. It feels different under your feet, and you know, it's not. It's quiet and it's weird. Yeah, no. You need the you need the actual yeah, grass no, stage. You need, you need the dirt spot. On the surface better. Do you have uh, superstitions when um, it comes to you know getting ready for an Otters baseball game? Not really. Uh, I've kind of like I've always been a little afraid of like them becoming a crutch. You know. Okay. So I don't have any like strict 
superstitions. Um, I guess the only thing I really do every game day is listen to music before the game. Um, and then um, a lot of guys, we're on this weird like energy drink kick right now. <laughs> there's like at any given time, there's like 20 energy drinks in the in the refrigerator in there. So you just gotta get your energy drink, you gotta get your caffeine in you, and you gotta get your music in you. Okay, so what's the uh, what's the caffeine drink of choice? And then what's the music okay, genre so of got, choice? So Bang Bang Energy is a big one. Rain Energy. You guys can you know feel free to give me a yeah send them so, so yeah, send yeah some send the, the samples yeah. and whatnot. I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big rock star guy though. You know rock okay, stars. Yeah, rock always got star. The deals. Are you listening? They got the, they got they're always coming out with new ones. Uh, and then the music choice. I'm usually a rock guy. I like I like '90s rock. I have actually never had an energy drink, and I haven't had caffeine in over a year, so maybe. Come on in. <laughs> hey, maybe. Maybe, hey, once Rockstar sends you all the samples for the free pub here on Otters TV. Make it happen. Make it happen, then I'll, then I'll try one. But uh, he's J.J. Gould. He'll be a big part of the Otters uh, run for a postseason championship. I'm Zane Clodfelter. This has been Otters TV.